hello and welcome back and today we want to kick off our series of hard drive test videos we want to look at the noise that hard drives generate and we are going to look at performance it has to be said but predominantly we are looking at noise now you can see here on screen all kinds of stuff going on this is uh, the first video that I'm doing in a large series where we're going to be looking at the noise that is generated by NAS hard drives. This is the WD Red Pro 8TB, the WD8003 FFBX is one of the newest generation, and it does utilize quite enterprise spec. It doesn't use a lot of the real, real hardcore stuff we see at the larger capacities, but this is still a drive that is designed for up to 24 base solutions and it is designed for enterprise output. Now, once again, we are going to look at performance a little bit with AJA and stuff like that. But the main thing we want to look at today is audio. We want to hear the noises these drives make and how much noise they generally make. But a few disclaimers straight off the bat. First and foremost, this is a very unique setup we're using today to give you two things. One, a relative, relative keyword there, decibel reading, as you can see from the side of the screen. But on top of that, this is about giving you an understanding of what the noises actually are. So I am exaggerating the noises as well in post, so the noises are going to be louder than they actually are. Not a huge amount, but definitely enough to notice. That's because, as you can see here on screen, we have got this mic wired up to the decibel meter there on a phone there, and we're going to calibrate that decibel reader to scale accordingly because this is by no means an enterprise, enterprise, enterprise audio setup. You need to spend hundreds, if not thousands of pounds per situation, something I do not have. So what we want to do today is we want to look at the amount of general noise generated from these setups and then figure out from them which of the drives that we're going to cover in the next few months is the best in terms of audio because you guys i know a number of you have got sensitive hearing so um what we're going to be utilizing is that sound recorder there we're using a sabrant um usb3 dock and just to eliminate it we're going to do a few um audio checks straight off the bat so first things first what is the general ambient volume and as we can see there it's around about the 20 to maybe peaking at 25 dB ambient volume. So what we're going to do, as you can see there, that uh, consequences between rustling leaves and quiet room. So what we're going to do is adjust that down and minus 25. So when we do that, we're just going to get the background increases. Now that's important because what we want to notice is the increased noise of these drives. We're not going to include ambient. So it's very important that we keep that relativity there and you're going to hear that word a lot. Next, we're going to power on the dock with no drives inside because we want to see how much noise the dock makes. So let's turn it on. And as you can see, the dock is near silent, so it will not have an impact in the testing. Now, I've already attached this dock as an external drive, so you don't have to go through all the business of using disk part and stuff like that. I've already taken care of all of this stuff in the background, so we can just inject this drive straight in and see what we can do. So we're going to power this off. We're going to insert this drive. And the first thing we want to test is the spin-up noise. So as you can see, straight away, if we go into not videos, we want to have a look there, ditch that. We can see that the drive has not been added yet. So we'll minimize that a tiny bit so we can see it. Um, it's trying to add a network NAS drive there. We're just going to ignore that. So we're going to go ahead and click start on this drive. And I'm just going to let you guys listen to how this drive sounds when booting. Now those noises that spin up there with larger drives would be more noticeable. They're still very noticeable in this Pro Series drive, but they're definitely better than I would have thought in a drive of this caliber. So that's already a step up there. As you can see, the drive has been added there as we've tested before. 
and we can see the drive is in there and on the left hand side of the screen we've got those spikes obviously larger spikes when i'm talking so the next test we want to do is a straightforward aja performance speed test we're going to be running a one a four gigabyte test file and you can see we're going for new volume e so we can go ahead there we're going to bring up the charts as well we'll try and get as much on screen as possible um, and we're going to go ahead and click start now the real one we want to look out for is write more than read but let's have a look And now read. So again, pretty impressive. Now, of course, this is an empty drive. If that drive was more populated, as I'm sure you're going to put in the comments, that would make all the difference. And we will be revisiting all of these drives with a larger degree of data on them to show that difference later on. But for now, we can come out of the AJA Performance Benchmark test there, come out of it, and now we're gonna do a straightforward drag and drop onto these drives and dump a load of data on it to see how much activity um, that does to the drive and therefore what comes from it. So we can go in here, we're gonna go into my external drive here, one of my backup drives, and we're going to go ahead and we've got all of these in case anyone's wondering mischief movie night great thing they're all there so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy all of those files in so again inside there as you've seen in the previous directory there is a good 241 gig of data there we're not going to copy all of this we're just going to copy a lot of it just to you know get some activity on the drives there. and these are all big files there aren't a lot of small files here so now we've copied them, and again, I'm just doing it manually for you guys on screen. We'll go into new volume E. We're going to create a new folder. Just call it new folder one. And now we're going to copy this data in. Ignore the motorbike in the background. And there you go, so that's that down, but just gonna stop that there. A few takeaways straight away, we copied, um, I think just shy of about, I think eight or nine, uh, say, what is it, one, two, four, six, eight. Yep, uh, just shy between eight and 10 gigabytes of data there. It's worth highlighting one, the maintained speed there was very, very good, above 200 megs. Apologize for the beginning there when we had the decibel meter covered. Um, also, again, I have to highlight this, as I said in the beginning, we're kind of, in, we're increasing that background noise off that mic there that we have on that camera because I want you guys to identify the noises a lot more so bear in mind the noises you are hearing are a lot closer than you would expect normally you'd be at least a meter two three meters away from these devices but the last test we're going to do because that was a purely write based test is now we're going to do uh, a combination read and write test. So we're going to copy the data inside this drive. We're then going to create a brand new directory here. And now we're going to copy the data from and to the same drive, something that a NAS drive is supposedly well designed for. And this will allow us to have that read and write activity on the same disk at the same time. Bear in mind, performance will definitely drop. This is not an SSD and it's not designed um, primarily for this kind of activity. So let's go ahead and click paste. Remove that off screen. We're definitely hearing that increase there.
and I think that's enough for now. Let's stop that transition. Now, what do we take from this? Well, obviously, the read and write action within the drive at the same time. The performance certainly dipped down to 80 megs. But once again, this is a drive designed for larger rate environment. And also, this is a hard drive, not an SSD. And actually touching on that, bear in mind that today's tests are a single drive test. This isn't a widespread RAID array, which we will be touching on in this sound environment. But I think certainly the WD Red 8TB Pro generates a lot less noise than I thought it might have. It's definitely, of, of all the Enterprise 8TBs that I've utilized, it's definitely one of the quieter ones out there. And of course, the fact that it's 8TB does minimize the platters a little bit. And we will be looking at larger drives such as 10TBs and indeed 14 TB drives in the background coming very, very soon. But I've got to say, the 8TB Pro, it's certainly noisier than that of a traditional red hard drive in lower capacities. But fair play to them. They have done their best to reduce that noise. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Again, bear in mind these noises are uh, being exaggerated from this distance. So this is more of our identification versus uh, decibel readings. But thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, click like. We will be covering loads, and I do mean loads, 20, 30 drives in this series. So click subscribe or go through the back catalog there of all the different drives that we've tested and click subscribe to learn more. And otherwise, I will see you next time.